So we're going to look at phasing receivers without the mat. Um, generally when you start looking at theory behind phasing receivers it gets very complicated very quickly. Uh, this is an example, I'm, I'm sure it's a really good paper but it's quite common this is what, what you see. But we're not going to even look at complex numbers or anything like that. We're going to demonstrate this on the on 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 the radio lab, um, but it, it applies to everything. So we have the SDR receiver module here and the ESP thirty two. They're kind of the key components. Kind of a close up of the receiver mo module. And this is the SDR radio diagram. But again, I'm going to I'm going to even get it more simple than this. So we're going to look at a setup where we've we've two mixers, seven megahertz local oscillator, and we're going to feed in seven megahertz minus one kilohertz, which is the lower sideband, and seven megahertz plus one kilohertz, which is the upper side sideband. And we're going to look at these signals. And I think once you see these signals, it should become really really clear as to how the, how 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 these work. So. I'll just start this up. So we're set up right right now on the upper sideband, and the top two are the I and the Q. So the blue is the Q, and the red is the I. And the only thing to really note is that the red is leading the blue, or the I is leading the Q by ninety ninety degrees. Um, so then I'm going to just switch this over to, sorry, switch this over to the lower side sideband, and you just what, what you should notice is that the I and the Q phase changes. So now the blue is the Q, the red is the I. So now the Q is leading is leading leading the I. So what's quite interesting here is if we were just to shift the the I by 90 degrees so basically delay it so it wouldn't it, it would end up over here then these would be in phase so and that's what we're looking at here on this these are in phase we add these two up there is two in here there's a little brown guy it's hard to see it and that's our out output say, say signal so our lower sideband is coming out on the on the output and we just send that to an audio amplifier but now if we put this in with one kilohertz where these where the phase will shift here um i'll just do that and i'll stop i'll stop it there so and again if we delay this by 90 degrees, it's going to end up here, which is, which is what, what, we're me what we're measuring here. These are 180 degrees out of phase. You add them, use the op amp or digitally add, it doesn't matter. And there's and there's the, out the output. So I'll just switch over between upper and lower side, side bend. So we're on the upper side bend. Now we're on the lower. Back to the upper, and back to the back to the lower, and that's the essence of phasing receivers and how to suppress the on unwanted side side sideband. And um, there's, there's the schematics and a lot more details on radiobuilder.org if you're if you're interested. Um, that's all for now. Thanks, folks.